When the old changes with the new coming in, that also means it's time for your heart to open up a little, so new love can come in. With the new community changing every day, you change with it. As much as you don't want change sometimes, it happens. Though change is good. It holds many opportunities and so much power for you to grow and give. Change creates so many connections that will live on forever. Ve'yahavta is annual love, and chadash means new. Ve'yahavta ha chadash, and you will love the new. In Elliot's segment, she will be talking about the new community coming in to Wisconsin and already here. The new community is already having a hard time fitting in and feeling comfortable in this new place for them. The best thing we can do is give them love, to give them hope and prayers. And you will love the new community because everyone together can make powerful changes of light. Change is good. In fact, it's the reason we thrive. Thank you for watching. Hi, for my segment this week, I'm going to talk about a fundraiser that's happening at MJDS right now. You've probably heard of it around the school, but you don't know what it's about. The fundraiser is for refugees from Afghanistan. They came here and they need essentials for the winter. The Jewish leadership team made it a contest. Each class should try to raise money, and the class that raises the most money gets to watch a movie in class. And the school as a whole, if we raise $2,500, we get a whole school pajama day. Our total as of Monday is $1,388.94. So don't forget to donate and remind your friends. This week, every class made a Hanukkah window, and I'm going to... And I'm going to be asking people what their favorite Hanukkah window was. So, you've seen all the windows. Which one do you think is your favorite? Um, I think 7th grade is the best. Okay. What was so great about it? What was so good about it? Um, okay, so the dreidels were like 3D dreidels, which none of the other classes had. Um, and they had like a really good happy Hanukkah over all of it. Mm -hmm. I like 7th too. I think my favorite one was the fifth grade because they had like a light up menorah and they had a lot of, they had the most Hanukkah stuff on their window. Like they covered their, their entire windows. Hi everyone, for my segment this week, I'm going to teach you how to make Brazilian truffles. The ingredients you will need is a fourth of a cup cocoa powder, 14 ounces condensed milk and a tablespoon of butter, for the first step, you're going to put a pot on low heat on the stove. You're going to wait for the butter to melt a little bit. Next, you're going to pour in the condensed milk. And you're going to put in the cocoa powder. And you're going to stir. You are going to start to notice that your mixture will become like a little thick chocolate sauce. Once you uh, see that everything is completely mixed in, you're going to grab a plate. You're going to pour that all that mixture on it. And then you're going to put it in the freezer for one hour so it can slightly firm up. Now that this the thick chocolate is out of the freezer, we can start molding it. First you're going to do is you're going to grab some and you're going to mold it into a ball. Once you're done molding into a ball, you can also you can roll it in sprinkles. There. Now you have Brazilian truffles. I hope you enjoyed my segment. Hello everyone, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Schmooze News. Until next time.